Welcome back. This is Jay from the Crypto Arc. I'm going to give you guys an update on an NFT play on the Cardano platform. Uh, before I show you guys that, I just want to say, like I always do, that this is not financial advice. So please do your own research. And you need to, anyways, because most of these guys that don't do research and just follow the crowd, whenever something dumps real hard, they go crazy. However, if you develop the conviction and understand where the market is going, where the project is going, you're not going to be as scared. If anything, you're most likely going to buy the dip. And yeah, that's what most people are doing. Most smart investors are doing, like me and you. <laughs> if you're listening to this, I think you're smart, you know, because I do believe that, you know, with my information, I can make some changes into your financial life. But, you know, this video is not financial advice, though. But you still make money in the long run. Because um, this crypto thing, it's magical, man. It's internet money just comes out of nowhere. And then, uh, yeah, it'll give you different possibilities in life, you know. It's like purchasing more food and weed. And I'm not doing this video high as well. I'm sober right now. All right. Nobody cares about your story until you win. So win. So yeah, we're gonna win. The end. All right. So the Fed, still the same crap. 1.6 trillion has been consolidating around that area for some time. Um, I can't remember when it was now. I think it was last month or two months ago. This was at like 1.9 trillion. I think they're gonna start heading back there. And they are making a lot of these uh, red flags, uh, false red flags like uh, the Ukraine-Russia tension, or like they're about to go to war. But just last year, the UK, or Ukraine, U not UK, Ukraine um, changed the law to basically push the idea of CBDCs. And just December of 2021, uh, they stated that, or there was a news stating that they're pilot testing their currency on the Stellar network. If... You know, they were about to go to war. Would updating your Bitcoin laws be the first thing in your mind? Like, come on, man. Clearly, this thing is a false flag event. But you know what? They're going to keep pushing that thing because not everybody will understand that. And, you know, they'll panic. But if they panic, you know, they're, they're not going to see the opportunities elsewhere. But you and I, we're definitely going to pounce on this market. Why? Because I do believe this is a false flag, you know? People are going to start um, putting their money on other things to get their minds at ease. Probably like with these travel restrictions going to go, I mean, uh, lifting. Uh, those were the people in Toronto, Canada, like me. Uh, they're most likely going to be traveling, you know. Whereas me and possibly you are going to be doubling down on our investments and whatever it is in our life, because I do believe that whatever temporary um, restrictions that they lift off, uh, it's just temporary, like I said. I don't believe that they are finished with their end goal yet, which is for you to own nothing and be happy about it by 2030. Uh, yes, we are getting some, you know, some breathing room right now, especially for the people in Toronto. But then they're going to lay down the law again. Boom! All right, let's move on. 10-year yield. Oh, it's not doing... Oh, uh, yeah, of course, it's the weekend. So 1.9, um, yeah, a couple of days. I think it was last week. It was at 2%. So this going down is um, definitely a good sign. That means we're not going to get, like, a, a major pullback. Because when this thing goes up, dude, we do get a pullback. So this to me is good, but we still do got to pay attention to this guy. All right, so the U.S. dollar in terms of strength is going up. Uh, that will put pressure in the market. Crude oil going down. Um, that too will put pressure in the market. You know, so it's just slight pullback I see. In. Yeah, 4%. What the heck is this? Oh, I'm in page 3. Okay, wait there. That's not that's not the way to go. 
So yeah, Bitcoin's taking a shit, which is cool. I'm not scared by it. I do see this as just a great investing opportunity. You know, acquiring digital assets at a lower rate. And if you take a look in the side, guys, the right side, you can see that most of these charts are uh, pretty much the same. And, you know, that's not a coincidence because robots and algorithms are taking control of the market. It's not a bunch of humans. Because if it was, man, yo, this would be like a, a global um, conspiracy. You know, a bunch of people just grouping up together saying, yo, we're, we're going to sell the same, same amount. So that way the chart will look like this. That's not possible, man. If you do think that way, you know, you're crazy. You're crazy. So overall, the market is just consolidating. You know, it's been playing around in the 30s and 40s for the past couple months or two months. And then uh, November or early November was uh, its recent uh, newer highs. Um, but with the uh, inflation that's going to come in, yo, we're going to go higher. And all I see is just higher lows being made. And confidence towards the market will grow even more as more adoption comes, more of these infrastructure are being built. And now I'm going to show you Space Tokens, which is an NFT uh, play-to-earn project on Cardano platform. Space Tokens, the interplanetary metaverse. And this project is crazy, man. They just started. All right. Uh, so the amount of planet NFTs they have, uh, it's quite limited. So if I were you, I definitely want to pay attention to this video. And if not, and or, you know, do your own research. So they have done um, a revamp on their website. Now you have uh, this spaceship right here. Floating around in space, probably exploring other planets. Which to give you an idea of what their update is about. Uh, you know what, let's watch this video. Even though I've shown it in previous videos. This is for the new people. Space tokens. It's planetary metaverse. Create a wallet and store. All right, everyone, copy that. Get that wallet and steal all the NFTs. I'm just joking. <laughs> Look at that. Lem Wall is trying to call me, but I'm making a video. Sorry, Lem, I'm gonna have to decline for now until I finish this video. Yeah, it's so cool, man. You get to be like Anakin Skywalker flying in space, exploring planets and shit. This is gonna uh, be a reality soon, guys. Game Alpha coming soon. As you can see, the Alpha is coming soon. So, that's a quick overview of what's going to happen. And if you want to read the white papers right here, yeah, see, they've done a complete revamp of the website. It's cooler now. Um, so, yeah, whenever someone explores a planet, they always display it. So these are the late, uh, latest discoveries made so far. So this is a class 4, the highest one. Um, and in terms of type and size, that always varies. And same thing with the design. Class 1 is the lowest one that they have, and of course, with each classes, you're going to get different kinds of designs. And also sizes. So, yeah, you get a variety, man. So, Space Tokens, Metaverse, Planets, where it all begins. Planets are key to entering the Space Tokens galaxy. So, these guys, each and every single one of these planets has its, its own unique properties, as well as um, things to explore. So, it, it basically its own metaverse because once you explore that planet which earns uh, passive income as well um, you get to explore different lands that are available in that planet each land too is an NFT discover land entities in your planet and launch exploration missions for creatures minerals and more and yes within that land you'll find creatures that are also NFTs right here discover befriend and breed creatures within the space tokens galaxy Evolve your creatures into friendlier beings to make friends and breed. That's crazy, man. So, yeah, like I said, it's its own universe. 
So those creatures, NFTs, you get to breed them. I, I don't know what else is going to happen with those creatures, but with, you know, the community giving them some feedback and stuff, I'm sure they can make some crazy cool stuff. Probably, like, make it, like, Pokemon, make it evolve and stuff, and then it'll do damage. Or probably, you could even, um, I mean, it, it could get to the point where you can enslave these creatures, make an army, invade another galaxy, and then, yeah, just take over the planet. But, you know, that's just wishful thinking right now. I think they're trying to make this a, a kid-friendly game. <laughs> but uh, in terms of minerals, <laughs> I'll talk more about that. Hold on. So this is our kind of like a roadmap. Okay, they already launched their token. Quit Expeditions, you can actually do that now. You can either pay by ADA or via Cardano token or Quid to start your Expeditions. Um, yes, the Quid X. Actually, uh, it's been sold out. But you can, you know, you can purchase quid in the Sunday swap. I'll show you guys. NFT founders. So a lot of these uh, NFT projects, play to earn. They also have a side NFT where you can own it. If you own it, you basically get some perks. Um, I think for the recent one with the founders, you get 5% more quid in your passive income on all planets in your wallet. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, survey the land, earn quid, you know, the whole exploration thing. They really want to push that idea here. Uh, creature discovery is ha happening Q2. So there's little creatures I was talking about. Yeah, you, you, they're going to be NFTs. They're going to generate income. Uh, you get to breed and all do all crazy things with them. Mining and crafting. This is the crazy part. So your planets earn just for discovering creatures. They hold value in their makeup as well. Mining will allow you to pull minerals from your planets that reward burnable tokens for each mineral type and with the things that you mine you can build stuff with that like house games whatever and or spaceships which you can use to explore newer planets or newer galaxy animated planets or long range sensors indicate that there's another galaxy out there so they're, they're already giving you hints or giving us hints that you know this space is going to expand even more so whatever they currently have right now um, will definitely earn us that you know passive income that we need. But also they're expanding a little bit more. So I I do see a lot of um, adoption happening with this game right here, especially because it looks so cool, especially with their UI. Uh, Galaxy's game launch. So that's pretty cool. That's happening next year. So they're kind of gonna use this whole entire year to basically build on that. And when it comes to games, that takes time, man. Especially the AAA games. So if you're into some like AAA game crypto projects right now, just understand that you're not, you might not see your um, ROI until years from now, but it definitely is worth the wait. And um, what I said just now is not financial advice. <laughs> All right, let me show you guys some of the things I explored. Okay, these are my expeditions. So when you click here, it'll automatically connect to your um, NAMI wallet. And it'll show you the things that you've um, explored. So this is my latest one. This is a class 3 planet. I love this one because it's blue. And there's mushrooms and stuff. It looks cool. I don't know what kind of creatures are going to be there. But you know, I do look forward to uh, exploring this. Let me see if it shows you the size of the planet. I don't recall this one being like big. Yeah, it's super Terran. It's not really that. I think it's in uh, the middle section. You can check on... The different planet sizes and creatures in the white paper. So let's see. Planet discovery. Out of planet types, sizes. Rod her. So what what the heck was that? Super Terran. Okay, I don't need to open that. So it's the third largest uh, planet size. I have a Neptunian as well, as well as Jovian. So I'm kinda happy with that. Uh, so yeah, that's it with the white paper. The white paper gives you a lot of great information, guys, and it's easily digestible too. So you don't have to worry about your having your eyes uh, go cross-eyed and stuff just to understand things. Uh, okay, so let me show you guys another one. This is a class four, I believe. Yeah, it says so right there. Isn't that huge? Look, it, it looks boring right now, but what I'm thinking, my cousin is thinking the same thing as well. Actually, I got the idea from them. Each and every single one of these planets will have its own unique properties as well as um, certain ingredients for whatever um, things you want to do. So, you know, 
who knows? You know, this planet could be um, harbing, not harbinging or storing some dark matter. Or maybe they'll add the idea of dark matter in it. And this one is the planet where a lot of creatures are always high. They're always on psychedelics. I'm most likely, if this thing were real, I'm most likely going to be here, you know, exploring and getting high. Yeah. <laughs> and then at night, I will go to my dormant planet, Rainin, where I will sleep, make some Zs. You know what I'm saying? And, and, if I want to um, be dealing with some gas, or possibly, this looks like coronavirus right here with all that green stuff or you know, if it's green oh you never know man it could be marijuana smoke too you never know but yeah if i want some coronavirus or marijuana smoke i definitely want to visit my aurora planet that was a terrible joke shut up all right so this planet right here i discovered this this thing was huge man this thing when i found it is like a neptunian planet Neptunian size and uh, I actually I did not explore this for the sake of keeping it myself I actually gave it out as a gift to uh, my crew and yeah, man uh, I definitely think since uh, it's a uh, what I call it Neptunian size it has uh, Let's see land discovery. It should have yes eight different land NFTs available for for it to be explored and remember guys each one of these land NFTs and as well as the planet earns passive income. So in a way, uh, the bigger the planet size, there's more um, possibilities of you making uh, more money. But do keep in mind since with all the uh, different variables that uh, they have, like creature NFTs and type of minerals. So it could uh, it could even out in the end, you know, where if you get like a class four, two class four, one is an asteroidian. And one is a Jovian. I mean, Jovian being the biggest uh, would have the highest or yeah high chance of making more money. But if they were trying to make things a little bit equal, I think they would put higher rarity materials in the asteroidian planet sizes. Because otherwise, it would just be like um, size war, you know, it's a pissing contest, I'm trying to see whose di um, dick size is bigger. I'm gonna be like swinging around in space and stuff. Be like, yo, my dick size bigger than yours. I have more minerals. All right, enough with dicks. Okay, and this guy I'll I'll keep for the rest of my 2022 life. This is the, this is the very first planet I've discovered, and um, it will always be dear to my heart. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cool design. And I look forward to this game. All right, I should actually get to the um, actual uh, update. So there's a recent update that happened on February 27th, uh, 27th, 17th, 2022. So they're basically talking about their game development, which is really cool. This thing pretty much blew my mind and it gave me an idea of how big this project really is. All right, and before I get, show you guys on the updates, uh, they had some contests regarding naming. Naming, what the heck are they? Oh, ship names. Okay. Uh, so one of them is IMS Lovelace. What the heck? I don't know what IMS is, but I know what IBS is. Irritable Bowel Syndrome. So this could be similar. It could be irritable. What could M be? M. What's M in a body? Okay, so there's bowel, B for bowels, M, uh, uh, holy crap, I can't come up with anything. Wow, my knowledge in anatomy is waning, it's dying. Okay, what body part starts with an M? I was going to say my satyr. Oh wow, there's not mouth, mustache, molar, mandible. Okay, let's go back to that. Let's make fun of it. Irritable. Oh crap, I forgot. Which one was I gonna pick? 
Fuck it. Okay, fuck those names, man. I don't want to talk about it. All right, get your game face on. So they're going to have a um, racing game uh, being set up. I'm telling you, man. I'm going to bring my Anakin Skywalker skills when this comes. I'm telling you. I'm going to kill everyone. Uh, daily missions, too. So this kind of reminds me of World of Warcraft right here. Uh, look at the graphics, man. Even though it's not like super realistic graphics, it, it is a game, you know. They're making it look like it's fucking Halo or something. And that's fucking sick. Yo, if this is the kind of designs they have in each and every single, like, uh, parts of the planet. Yo, this thing is, I mean, it's basically telling me that you're going to take some time to fully develop. Which is cool. Because the more they take time to develop it, the cooler the game is. And um, this right here, the scenario right here, is just within a ship. And that ship is going to be on a planet or on a land. So you can only imagine how big that land is going to be. And then there's going to be random creatures floating around and shit. And you get to explore everything. Daily missions. There's some things in a day you've uh, you just got to get done. Check out the space tokens game. Take your ship for a rip and check out your planet. Practice flying skills and get those space racetrack times down. Explore the galaxy. You know, the basics. Cool. So as you explore, you earn quid. It's cool. Oh, I guess it's um, the... There's summary right here. Change up look, customize your space dude avatar. You get to walk around the spaceship. Um, oh, and you never know who or what you might find inside the spaceship. I'm thinking James Raynor from StarCraft is going to be there with Tychus Finley. And then you guys are going to be fighting the Zerg and Protoss. Uh, Interactive Galactic Planetary Positioning System. What the fuck? That was a long ass name. GPPS. Galactic Sectors and Fixed Planet Positions. And they're going to add an arcade room as well. Uh, so that's going to be cool. Most likely, I I'm thinking it's going to be like an indie style game. You know. But who knows. Uh, more missions. Okay, cool. More ways for people to make money. And then there's going to be an intergalactic marketplace where you can buy, sell, and trade planets, land, minerals, creatures, and more. No, these things are already exciting enough, but you never know what more will bring. Could be bigger planet sizes or more galaxies. You never know. Uh, Biodiversity Research Center. This is where they, um, you get to learn and how to create uh, coronavirus. That's just the mothership, guys. We haven't even gone into the development update yet. You still, you still have bananas. What the fuck? You should maybe grab a couple more. Okay. You know, I, I read this before, but I don't know why I'm still surprised reading that part. Maybe I have um, a memory of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see. I think these are other NFTs, too. Um, NPCs, NPC NFTs. I'm most likely gonna pick this guy right here because he looks like he's got dreadlocks. Yeah, and I'll make him pair with this girl right here, number five, because she looks like she has a butter croissant on her head. And just a couple days ago, I ate a butter croissant from Tim Hortons. So that is my, that is my decision making right there. Uh, let's see. So yeah, that was it. That was pretty cool. Giving us an idea of what they're um, building for us in their, their gaming side of their project. And guys, when it comes to a uh, quid, you can definitely purchase this now using the Sunday Swap, which is a decentralized exchange on the Cardano platform. And one Cardano right now, it costs oh, less than a dollar. And you can get 70 quid with that. So quid would be, let's... I don't want to do uh, one third cent. One third cent. One point three cents should be around there. And uh, I think that's all I got for this video, man. Yeah. Oh wait. Do you guys know how to buy this? Oh, okay. So if you don't know how to buy this Planet NFT, this is what you do. You click on the Buy Planet NFT button right here. And then you select which one of these planets that you want to buy, you know. Oh, here's a little story about this one. So this thing is called Terra. This is the planet type. 
And uh, I was in CNFT Tools, which is basically the open sea for Cardano. Some dude or girl, dude or dudette was selling a Terra planet for 300 ADA. And all the other ones were around like 1,000 or something. So I was trying to snipe that. Anyways, I purchased it 24 hours later. That person didn't give it to me. What a bitch. But anyways, I got a full refund. But I, I was I was quite excited for it, you know. Thinking that I was a genius for wanting to buy it. And the idea of a genius for trying to get it died because that person didn't give it to me. What a fucker. Oh, and another update that they put in this um, purchasing an NFT is uh, they give you an idea of how much is left. So with the class 4 planets, only 2,500 are available. And right now we're in the lower 300. So when once more people understand this project, yeah, that thing's gonna be fucking sold out within a couple days, man. And then next on the list would be the class three planets. There's 5,000 these guys. And right now there's 4,500 left. So there's definitely a little bit more room to uh, you know purchase, but I think this is gonna be, class four planets are gonna be the main priority for people to get because it's much more rare. There's only 2,500. Um, so yeah, with all of these, yo, I pretty much have every single planet sizes or classes. So I'm quite excited with that achievement. I don't know what you want to do with your own achievements, but you know, if you got the time and money, try to own these different um, classes because you, you just never know what kind of materials and creatures and lands each and every single one of these is going to give you. And there's different planet types for different classes as well. Uh, so for my class two, I got a slime. My class three, I have a mushroom. My class one, I have both a dormant and that's all I can remember. And for this guy, oh man, I, okay, so I have one Aurora or I found one Aurora psychedelic a rogue i was about to get this but the fucker didn't send it to me and then atomic yo this is this is something i i want to get as well because uh, it just looks cool and oh oh also before you even launch the expedition button you gotta click on planet i mean classes you want okay because each and every single one of these will give you a different address and let me show you guys Boom. Say launch expedition, blah blah blah. All right, see this address right here. So it's gonna be different uh, depending on the class that you click on. So all I gotta do is click on that link or uh, that address. Go to your Nami wallet if you if you're using Nami, and then uh, yeah, press the send. Uh, click the send button. Put that address in there, and then just input the amount of ADA. Uh, you want to send and this transaction is not available. I mean, uh, not possible for me because of course I don't have 250 Then yo, it definitely would be possible for me All right, so let me show you guys how it would look like in your collectible section So I do have other NFT projects in here. Okay, so I'm give don't Try to steal my shit man Because I'm just trying to make an honest living right here using my NFTs as you can see I have um the founders badge as well which I didn't really earn other than paying for it. You know, some people who got in earlier got a free airdrop. But there's a, and there's gonna be more airdrops in the um, near future. So these are my current planets right now. And I'm proud of them. Okay. These are my class fours. This is my class three, my very first one, and it's my class two. So I have all four types. And I have three class fours. Um, out of all of them, I'm excited for this one. See what kind of mushrooms I get. It's cool. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video, man. Can't believe this is a long ass video for something that I did sober. I usually make long ass videos when I'm high, but I uh, I don't know. <laughs> Take care.